As you can see, I have a blank Moby Rise site started. There's nothing in here yet. We need to do a few things. First, create a folder where you're going to save all these things. Mine happens to be in the desktop, and it's also named My Animations. Easy to find because we've got to do a few things first. So we're going to come over here with a little cog on there, and you can see that the site name is My Animation. Great. Don't have to worry about that. We're going to come over here to the edit styles and what we want to turn on over here is animated scroll and I want a scroll button. Okay, good. Next thing I want to do is I want to go to the pages and on my home page I'm going to click the cog and I'm going to come right down here and I'm going to add some code. I haven't created this file yet but we're going to add the code. Don't forget the name of the file after we do this. So we're going to open parentheses script src equals and inside double quotes we're going to type I'm going to call mine mine animate oops and I am Asians dot js and because I'm not crazy I'm going to copy this command C then I'm going to close my parentheses going to open parentheses slash script and then I'm going to close it. Okay. Now I'm going to come over to, I'm going to use Text Wrangler. You can use what you want. I have a blank document and I'm going to save it. And because I copied that, I'm just going to paste it in. And I'm going to save it in the folder I told you to put on my desktop called My Animations. And I'm going to save it. This is now connected. Even though we don't have anything in it, it's connected. So let's build, quickly build our site. Um, I'll close this. I'll choose. Um, let's, where's our plus sign? Let's let's add a uh, article in here. So do, 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 article header, article title, and then I need to add a new one. Let's add uh, two two columns. Um, that should do it. And and I get there, a little picture, and we can make a few things. I think I want to move this. So I can drag this up, drag block, and I think I'll just move it to here. There. That looks much better. I could use a footer and a header. So let's click this. I'll go down to the footer, grab a footer. I'll just do a simple footer, drag it below here, and then I can roll up to the top of this. And all the way up and I'll just grab a there we go now you guys should know how to edit this thing we can take a look at it in the preview you'll notice that there's some animation going on there the uh, I'll reload it you can see it now the thing is with this is that all the animations are the same they're all on scroll and they're all exactly the same we may not want that so this is why we're doing this tutorial. All right. So we need to do a few things first. Um, let's close this, or hide it anyway. And let's publish this. So we go publish, and we need to find our folder. Like I said, mine's on the desktop. And I'm going to publish. All right, and there you go, perfect. Now, I need to look into that folder, so I'm going to go to my desktop, and then go to Find. Now, you'll see that when it published, we've got the project, that file we created, the index, and the assets. And in the assets is this thing called Animate CSS. This is cool. This has, like, tons of basic animations in it. So, we're going to go look at that, and it's... Now, we, you can see that this is a crazy address, but the easiest way to find it, if you wanted to, is just, if you can't find it, just go animate CSS. There it is. Pops up first one. And then you can see all the different kind of animations in and out that you can do. And it's very cool. You know, bounce, we don't particularly want that, but hey, you know, it's all right. So we know what that is. So we can look up those. So we have to do a couple things with our, uh, our already set up 
theme. So we'll go to theme, JS, script. We want to open that up in Text Wrangler. And we're looking for something specific. And what we're looking for is animated elements. Note that there's no space in there. So click Next. And that's not it, but there was one up above it. If it goes here, you can see this. See this one right here? That's the one we want to deal with. Now, what you don't want to do is delete it. What we do want to do is comment it out. So we do slash shift eight, which is a star. And right here after hidden animated, we go shift eight star and slash and Now we save it. We're not going to need this anymore. Close it and we're good to go. The next thing we need to do is I'm going to open up my index, just drag it on, open the index, that'll be useful too. So like I said, now if we go back and we look at our reload this and we'll look, there is no animation anymore. So we can give animation. This is an H1 tag. This is a paragraph. Now how do I know that? Well, that's easy. I can come look over here and see that there are tags in here. There's an H1 tag and there's a paragraph tag. So let's mess with the paragraph tag just to do it. So I'm going to go here into my blank. Now we're, this is jQuery, so we're going to start with a dollar sign. Open parentheses, open quotes, close quotes, close parentheses, dot, add, class with a capital C, open parentheses, open quotes, close quotes, close parentheses, semicolon. Okay, so the question here is, what do we want to affect? Well, we're going to work on the paragraph tag. And the class we want to add, this is always going to be the same. We first want animated, then space, then we can add one of these um, from bounce to, let's see, there's one I like. I really like the speed, light speed in. I like it. What can I say? I'm a little, yeah. So I'm going to do that. We're going to go light speed in. It has to be done exactly, exactly as that is written. written. So let's go here. So there you go, instant animation. So make sure if it didn't work, you can come back here, make sure A, you saved it, and B, that you've got the quotation marks on it. Okay, that's easy, right? Now, since we did the speed in, so I load it up again. Um, let's go to the web page. <laughs> speed in, load it up again. Now, something you may not have noticed. Now, we applied that to all the P tags. So when we reload this again, get this up far enough. Notice that this was a paragraph, and this was a paragraph, and they went in too. Hmm, that may not be what we're looking for either. So we need to get a little more specific. Now, how do we do that? There's two ways. We can go to our animates like this, and we can do something on a click. So let's do something on a click, and let's be specific. So let's say dollar sign, open parentheses, open double quotes, close double quotes, close parentheses, dot, click, open parentheses, function, open parentheses, close parentheses, curly brace, skip some lines, curly brace. All right. Now what are we going to click? Well, we're going to click the paragraph again, but we need to give it a name. Okay, so let's just come over here. Let's find our paragraph. Where's our paragraph? It's down here somewhere. There's our paragraph. And I gave it a new ID. The ID name is Top P. Okay, that's easy. You just type that in. Okay, so we'll come over to our JS script and we'll type that in with pound Top P. 
And I'm going to move this here. We'll make it an out instead of an in. And we'll change this to pound top P. Now the reason I use the pound sign is because it's an ID. So we filled this in and I need to put a parenthesis right there and a semicolon to finish it off. Save it. Now if we reload this, you notice nothing happened. If I come over here and click, it moves out. Now note that nothing else moved, nor can I click it. So that's one way to do it. Now there's another way. We get back into Text Wrangler, and this is all uh, up to you. We go to the index, and let's give a, um, here we go. Here's our intro right here. After display and still within the, within the quotation marks, let's add animated, and just do bounce, and save, and reload. Notice that it bounced, and this still works. Now here's the problem with that. And anytime, and when you add the IDs. If I go back, I have to go back to MobiRise and publish again, all this is going to be gone, because it isn't going to save it. Everything that's in the, in this file, in this file, will stay. Okay? So you would have to go back and do it all again. So if I republish this, I would have to go back and comment out the uh, script file. So I'd have to go back and do this. Go back here and I'd have to comment this out. Then I'd have to go back to the index and add the ID or type in this. Surprise you pay. But that's it. That's all you have to do. And there's tons of stuff to do. We're done.